the beautiful Rocky Mountains of Colorado, the site for this college football matchup. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Texas has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And now he pitches it, and he's taken down around the 28-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Play action. He's pushed out of bounds around the 41 yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. From the 41 yard line, first down. Gets out to about the 38-yard line. Gaining three yards. That makes it second and eight. Watch the slant. Watch the slant. Watch the slant. Mike three. Mike three. Here we go. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. with their ball control. Tackle around the 31-yard line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. So at the end of one, Still no score. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. his way to the 23-yard line. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions, and especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's taken down at about the 11. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. Here he goes. 
That'll bring him down just outside the goal line. Air Force is going to have to use their second time out of the half. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Now he pitches it. Touchdown, Air Force. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And he adds the extra point. It was a 12 play, 75 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big runs. Air Force gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the six. He's taken down at the 35 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Brought down at the 48-yard line. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball and he was able to make something big happen. Catches it and he's looking for more. And down he goes at the 38-yard line. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. Complete. And he's tackled right around the 26-yard line. Number 13 with the tackle at the 26-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Thank you. Inside handoff. And they get nice yardage on that run. Excellent job by the defense to bring him down inbounds to keep that clock moving. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And they make the stop at the 12. Good hook up there. They get an eight-yard gain and a first down. This quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. in the open. Shows some moves and he's in. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And they got it. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. So the sack makes this a second and long. We get a tie game at 
We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back for their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, Defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves the second half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. And the second half just about set to get started. We're dead even. Gathered in at the six. And down he goes at the 31 yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Steps out at the 35. That's a gain of four along the way. That makes it second and six. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll be my 32. made at the 50-yard line. First down. Nice run there. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Hits him hard at the 34. Gain of nine on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34 yard line. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. That's good for a of three yards. That makes it second and six. It out to maybe the 29 yard line. That's a game of two on the That will bring up third and four. Hey, kill, kill, kill. He's on the run, and he can't get away from the pressure. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The Falcons had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he nails the long field goal. Texas kicked this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So at the end of the third quarter, the Longhorns lead 10-7. 
Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Just under two to go in the game. He gets to about the 41-yard line. complete and taken down immediately. That makes it second and six. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. Three down, three down. Zero, zero, Mike, three. Go, go, Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's gonna count, and this could be the one right here. Gets to about the 37-yard line. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. That was a short game, but a nice tackle there by the senior corner who came in from the outside and made a nice play. He's at the 20. And they bring him down at the 7. Great run by the back there. He could have gone all the way. We might see another run here as it's first and goal. Under a minute left. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. The Falcons, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Longhorns coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy That's that this the team was able to win the football the game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.